breaking news. New research changes the face of dinosaurs, literally. Everything we know about dinosaur muscles comes from studying their closest relatives, birds and crocodiles. But what if dinosaurs had muscles that weren't in birds and crocodiles because they didn't need them? When lead author Henry Sharp was examining the skull of an Edmontosaurus, he noticed a bone structure around where the cheeks would be in mammals, but no one knew what it was for. And that led to this research. First, the team examined the skulls of 10 different dinosaurs across various families and found a similar bone structure on all of them. Next, they looked for collagen fibers in the bones. Collagen fibers are what help keep muscles attached to bones as they move and stretch. These fibers are preserved in fossils. They took slices of bone from the cheek and lower jaw and shined polarized light to look through them. The fibers were all pointing in the same direction. And collagen fibers don't just point in random directions. They point in the direction of the muscle attachments. This type of muscle attachment was found in all the skulls they looked at. They call it exoparia. They resemble cheeks in mammals. We don't know what they're for, but it goes to show the limits of just using birds and crocs for reference. This muscle will change how paleo artists draw dinosaur heads. Emily Stepp's video illustrates how this new muscle changes the look of T-Rex's face. Henry Sharp is also a paleo artist, and you can see more of his work here. I saved this piece of news until I finished my Walking with Dinosaurs review because Henry Sharp and co-author Mark Powers were also in the Alberta Source episode in Walking with Dinosaurs. Mark's teamed up with dinosaur anatomy specialist Henry Sharp. Hmm. I wonder if that's Exoperia on the T-Rex.